2024 is likely to be the hottest year ever recorded, surpassing a crucial milestone. The first calendar year above the psychologically important threshold of 1.5 degrees Celsius above pre-industrial. Keeping global warming to within 1.5 degrees Celsius was a key goal of the 2015 Paris Agreement. Once we pass certain thresholds, we can trigger climate impacts that might not be reversible. On the current trajectory, the United Nations says the world is heading towards around 3 degrees Celsius of warming by the end of this century, leading to hotter heat waves, deeper droughts, stronger storms and more. Annual greenhouse gas emissions at an all-time high, rising 1.3% last year. Such is the backdrop for the two-week COP29 climate summit in Baku, Azerbaijan, set to get underway on Monday. A key part of this year's meeting is climate financing, how richer nations will help pay for poorer countries to reduce emissions and adapt to climate change. Without the finance domino in that line of dominoes, everything will essentially fall apart. Azerbaijan is a major producer of oil and gas, fossil fuels that help drive climate change. It is also a climate vulnerable country, so it uh, gets around 50 to 70 percent of its water from over, over its borders, outside its borders. So it really is between a rock and a hard place on climate action and transition. And as such, it has a really strong interest in getting finance in place to help developing countries such as itself to find a, a feasible path forward. Looming over the summit, the US presidential election victory for Donald Trump. He could again pull the United States out of the Paris Agreement that set climate goals. There are also fears of a trade war with China. We're unlikely to be moving towards a world that is more stable with increasing climate impact. So we do need to learn to manage under these conditions of geopolitical instability, which, which will only increase going forward. From the wildfires in California to the deadly floods in Spain's Valencia, scientists say climate change is driving extreme weather. And without urgent action, it will likely get much worse. Henry Ridgewell, VOA News.